Hi everyone and welcome back to another animation tutorial with scarmotion.com. Today what I thought we would learn is how to do overlapping action. Now here I've got a scene file of a little character and uh, he's just moving forward and back. Something very very boring. Um, I'll just hit play and you can see what he's doing. Just moving around in our scene. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this really cool technique to help make your performance look really interesting and a little bit more organic and it's called adding overlapping action. So the way that we do that is we just add rotation to our character and I've done it uh, with this scene here and you can see all I'm doing is I'm just rocking the character in the opposite direction to which he's traveling. So as this character is moving forward I'm rotating him back then when he comes to a stop he has this little bit of rock then as he moves over left he's rotating right and then when he stops he has a little bit of a rock there and then as he's heading backwards he's moving he's rotated forwards and then vice versa on the way out and by doing that it just adds this uh, appealing sort of organic nature to your character so what you want to do first is you can download the scene file go to the scarmotion.com website and you can find this file here which really just has this linear motion to it and then I'm going to show you how we can add this really cool motion. So load up your scene file and what I like to do is I always like to uh, have the curve editor, the graph editor open and animate with that. Also what's handy to have is the uh, dope sheet and in the dope sheet here you can see that we've got the animation uh, on these two tracks on the X uh, trans and on the on the Z trans which is our forward and back okay I just have this off to a um, uh, on a screen a second screen uh, off to the side over here but uh, the one that we really want to use is the uh, curve editor so go to the first frame and select your box and what we want to do is we want to just go to the point just before he's about to slow down so the uh, the curve editor here you can see that this point around about here he's starting to slow down there's this long pause in this area here so I'm just going to go to this frame around about frame 12 um, he's traveling forward so I want him to rotate back now backwards and forwards is rotating in Z oh, sorry in X and rotate side to side is in Z okay so uh, just before he comes to a stop anywhere just before he comes to a stop we're just going to rotate him back in the opposite direction using rotate X okay and then you'll see that as he comes to this point here we need to have him do this overshoot so I'm just going to go forward a little bit around about there now if I put this back you see that there's this line on the curve editor here um, at zero if I bring that back to zero he's straight up and down I wanted to actually overshoot that and for him to rock forward and then I want him to rock back so I'm just going to go forward in time uh, just hitting uh, the left mouse button uh, on that line there I can if I hit the left mouse button um, anywhere on this uh, curve it inserts keys okay so he rocks forward and then I'm just going to have him rock back a little bit. Now this might be too slow or it might be too fast, I'm not really sure yet. It doesn't really matter because I can change the position of these keys. You don't have to get too precious with this. Um, I'm just going to hit play and see how that feels. Okay, that's not too bad. It feels like at this point here, if I wanted this to be slower or faster, what I could do is this is the point just before he comes to a stop and this is the point just a when he's rocking forward. If I wanted that to ha happen faster, faster, I could left mouse click and region select in the graph editor there and you'll see that it highlights that in black. Now it's important that I uh, select those keys, that those are in that black field and then you'll see that there's, I can just by left mouse clicking and holding down the left mouse button I can then drag those keys over left or I can drag them right. If I drag them over right it's going to have this first one, uh, this first rock happen really slowly whoa yeah um, but if I have it go the other way sooner in time it will be a little bit quicker so that's better so it's really just a feeling that's looking pretty good I'm gonna leave that like that okay 
Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of rock back in the opposite direction as he's traveling over camera left. So the important thing with this is that we need to go into the, X, uh, the Z channel now and you need to select the Z channel in the box uh, parameters. So with the box highlighted make sure that you've, you've got that uh, selected. Um, now the other important thing is that we've had no animation being saved on this channel uh, since we started animating. Um, now if I was to save a key because I wanted to, I know that I need it to start rocking back in the opposite direction to which it's traveling um, around about here let's say. The only problem with this is that now what it's done is it's made my animation from the very start to this point here very slowly over time start to rock back towards us um, and we don't want that. We actually want it to be straight up and down. So remembering that this line here means that it's uh, straight up and down or at zero. So if I wanted to, I'm just going to I could do one of one of two things. I could either insert a key and have it rotated back up in this point here so that all the way through this section it's straight up and down in Z rotation. Um, the other issue that I'm getting here is that I am in linear mode. Now one thing that you could try doing is just region select all of these and then just come over here and where it uh, says spline this little icon just select that and see what happens. Now the only problem with this is that now what it's done is it's created this overshoot. Now that's to be expected in Poser because there are no tangent handles. So one way that you can eliminate that is you could come to the first frame here and then just hit linear and what that does is it makes this section of the uh, keyframes from the first through to the uh, the second key linear and then it goes back into spline. So continuing on we're just going to have a little bit of an overshoot once it comes to a stop exactly the same as the forward and back and then we'll have him rock back. Now with every uh, rock backwards and forwards I'm having the amplitude a little bit less and just a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller meaning that they're getting closer and closer to zero. Okay. Now that first one there, that looks like it might just be a little late, but that's okay. And then I'm probably just going to come here and I'm just going to put that at zero. Around about there. Fantastic, let's just play that. Oh yeah, that seemed a little late, didn't it? So what I can do is with this, I just need to select these ones here and we'll make those earlier and maybe I just select these ones and move those over so that they happen earlier as well and let's just play that now yeah that's better okay I might just push those forward that one kind of just stops all of a sudden so what I might do is just give it one more rock just a very little rock and then uh, around about here I'll just move that back to zero and let's just go back and we'll play that okay now depending on how much amplitude um, or how far you rotate it and how um, many frames there are between the two keys it's going to depend on the speed in which it uh, in which it rocks so I might just dial this one back just a little bit just so it's not too much or you could increase it whatever you feel looks good and then we're going to do the same thing back here so as he rotates as he's traveling backwards we need to have him rotate in the opposite direction which of course is rotate Z uh, rotate X now you also notice that I need to so that we don't run into the same mistake again I need to insert a key around about here okay and the reason for that is is that we don't want there to be you know this weird animation happening you know like that um, throughout the course of when he's uh, not rotating forwards or back uh, but he should only be rotating sideways so I need to make sure that this key here is linear like that and now I can start to insert I'll go to this point here just before he comes to a stop and I'll rotate him forward and then as he's on his way out 
I'll just move forward in time and I'll just have them rotate back. Okay, so let's play that and have a look. That's not too bad. Okay, so I hope that you guys found that interesting and useful and um, please feel free to download this uh, uh, scene file from our site and also have a look at our other products, our other animation products on scarmotion.com and if you have any issues please don't hesitate to uh, comment in the YouTube channel here. Thanks very much guys, bye.